do I really have to do? I think I guess I have to do this. So we already had like a sneak preview of Sonic the Hedgehog movie. And now they gave us an actual trailer. So let's talk about the trailer. I hate it. <laughs> it's like, yes, the trailer. I hate it. The only reason why I hate it is because Sonic X, ever since it freaking damn exist, it just kept on existing. Even though it's like, you have nothing to show us anymore. We've seen the damn series. You played the series over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Oh my gosh. It's like, apparently... There had to be a freaking FC game ship. It's like Vortex is like, yes, we're bringing back Sonic X because everyone voted for it. It's like, hell no. I'm pretty sure you guys freaking fudged the votes. I'm pretty sure no one voted for Sonic X back. You just brought it back because apparently it's the cheapest show you can get. It's like, holy frick, man. You have to admit, it's like if your show becomes a decent gem of a show and then all of a sudden years later it's the cheapest thing you can actually buy over and over again it's like you gotta freaking get to your point of where you're like well i own sonic and they actually said that they want to buy my show and it's cheap as fuck it's like eventually you gotta get to the point of being like do you really like your show you own the show do you really like your show don't you think your show deserves to have like a decade of not showing up so it can seem fresh again after it resurfaces? And hopefully the guy is like, you have a good point. And if so, it's like, well, thank goodness, because it's freaking damn overload. It's like, I'm, I'm, I don't like this bass. I don't like the damn show. Okay. The show was good in the beginning, but then when it kept on repeating his damn self, it's like, you got to take that show away get rid of the show i'm sorry that your show is crap now but your show's been freaking repeating every single freaking damn year and then finally when it was like we're purging everything and we're doing our own thing they got rid of sonic x and they're like yay and then somehow vortex after a freaking few months they're like we're bringing it back and it's like oh my gosh we just got rid of it three years ago it is too damn soon my goodness so the reason why i don't like this the reason why i don't like this movie is because it has people in it and more than anything you know what was in the freaking in the freaking tv show people Yes, he actually got transferred somewhere in time, and congratulations. He's stuck in that world. He eventually got to come back into his world, and then there's just lots of crazy crap that happened in that series. But considering continued going over and over and over again, I was like, freak this crap, because it got boring anyways. Freak you. <laughs> Not you guys who's listening to this. I mean, freak you, the bastards who actually made the TV show and thought it was a good idea to be like, yes, you can play it over over and over and over again it never gets old it got fucking old so that's why i hate anything that would happen where it's like like for instance if they would have did sonic and actually it's like dr eggman and it's their world i would buy into it but you have people in it and i'm like man frick that sh <laughs> it's like, no as soon as you have people in in a real world stuff it's like hell no and then you have dr eggman actually being a part of that world the only reason why i would even care to watch this t this movie is because jim carrey's in it as dr eggman and that's gonna be one hell of a show <laughs> that, that's what I think is going to be one well, hell of a show to see how you it's like I don't even have to do it all I got to do is just wait until the very end and then as soon as it's in theaters and all that crap everyone's going to just leak all the freaking scenes that Jim Carrey's in it's like I don't even have to watch a damn movie I don't have to do anything all I got to do is just wait for people be like here's Dr. Eggman thinking here's Dr. Eggman when he's talking to that freaking general guy here's Dr. Eggman scheming it's like it's freaking damn easy it's easy just to be like, yep, all I gotta do is wait for this. Well, I kind of hope, even though I like Sega, I do like Sega. I don't have any of their consoles, but I actually like the underdog because they're really serious at underdogging. 
their last console got destroyed and then they have no choice but now to do only video game con- video games only just content they can't even make their own systems i'm like i would love them to come back i would like to see what would they make in this brand new world here because they've been gone since 2000 or 2001 i would kind of like to see that i kind of want to see what do you have in mind to actually compete with everyone else what would you do and I know it's like, oh, but Sonic is part of Nintendo in a way. It's like, yes. And I believe that when it comes to Sega, you can actually make your own games because even Nintendo, when it came to um, Brawl, they actually do mention the first time you see Sonic, but they don't actually show Sega title. They don't say Sega or anything. They just mention that this is when he first came. So it's like, they can actually make their own games and they don't have to share. It's like make Sonic games that you can share with every platform. But when it comes to your own console, make one exclusively for yourself too. It's like, yeah, you can do two things, right? You can do two things or you can actually make it that maybe you have that game, but what you decide to do is that you have even extra content on the Sega version. But as for everyone else, they got the normal content, but the Sega version is the one that people would love to have. But hey, if you don't like Sega, you still can buy the Sonic game. It's just that it won't be the Sega version. So it's like, I'm okay with that. That makes sense. So what I really hope is the following. is that this movie is so damn bad that people who are like, oh, the Mario Brothers movie suck ass. It's like, well, it looks like you would prefer to watch the super mario movie over the sonic movie don't you because <laughs> that's how it's gonna end that's why i really love to end it it's like i love you sega but i would just kind of actually like it so that this movie is so bad that when it comes to choosing between super mario brothers movie and this movie they would choose super mario brothers and they'll basically look back and be like you know this movie wasn't so bad. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, yeah. That's what I really want. That's what I really want. Do I want this movie to actually fail and be a loser? Um, They already screwed over anyways. It's like, whoever had the license to Sonic X should have just stopped freaking showing repeats over and over and over again. If that didn't happen, if we actually just got Sonic X, they did from start to finish and then never show Sonic X ever again afterwards. I might have a different story for this movie. But the sad thing is that they kept on repeating this freaking that freaking cartoon series over and over and over again. And that's why I don't like this movie is because it's just like the freaking damn TV show. It's just too much like the freaking damn TV show. The only difference is that there's no such thing of Chaos Emeralds. No such thing as Chaos Emeralds in this, at least that's what we know for right now. And as for the ring, being able to teleport people, what the frick? That's new. But I kind of would like to actually have this movie be so bad that the Super Mario Brothers movie, they're like, it's not bad at all. It's not that bad. And the, the movie was not that bad. It was someone's interpretation and it was interesting. And it was quite fun. I mean, if you want to actually be like the freaking video game, well, you're out of luck. <laughs> it's like, how can you actually make the video game translate good on freaking screen? It won't. And sadly, they did the same exact thing with Sonic. But the thing is is that Sonic could easily have done it, though. They could have easily done it. Mario, it's hard to translate it. But Sonic, they could have freaking translated the hell out of it. And they decided to do the Sonic X way. Well, let's just hope that they don't go even too deep where it's like, guess what? He's going to kiss a princess, too, in this movie. Oh, damn damn no oh my gosh they remember the 2006 game and did it on this too 